Good morning. It is Sunday and I am having my breakfast. It's just leftover sweet potato and broccoli mash. And I squirted a bunch of sriracha on there. And that is this morning's breakfast. Well, mini breakfast because it's really not a lot. But I was starving because I just came back from my walk. And I just took a shower. I'm sitting having my coffee, watching the news, having my breakfast. And then I am going to go out and go visit mom. So I'll let you know how that goes. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. This is chopped up kale, red cabbage, green cabbage, and a little bit of shredded carrots in there somewhere and some chopped up onions. I just steamed that up, poured some sriracha in there. And that's that. Good morning. I'm out for my walk. It's really, really sunny and I keep forgetting to bring my sunglasses. Oh, but anyways, up early, out for my walk. Um, had a nice weekend, quiet weekend, which is good. I mean, whatever, nothing, we didn't really do anything. Um, putted around in the house just to clean up and, um, Went to the house yesterday, visit with the girls, and uh, while we were there, get a notice at the front door from that reverse mortgage company. Dun dun dun! Oh boy, the action's going. I guess I don't know. I have to call them today, find out what's going on. Um, so now the girls are freaking out because. We heard from that mortgage company. I mean, I'm freaking out and I'm not even living there, but um, I, my fear is I don't want them to be evicted. And they don't want to be evicted, obviously. But, and I don't know, I'm hoping that they started saving money months ago when we first knew all this was happening in case they have to move right away. So I'll find out today what's going on. I don't know, but I know they're all freaking out and I'm kind of freaking out myself, but they also knew from the beginning that this was gonna happen. And uh, whether they wanted to block it out and say, oh, it's not gonna happen or what, but I feel really bad and I'd like to be able to help them, obviously, but we can't. We don't, we don't have that kind of money to help them move. They don't even bring in enough money to pay for the local rents around here. The rents around here are freaking amazing, crazy high. And uh, we probably won't even, I mean, we signed a two year lease, but we probably won't stay longer because of the fact that the rent is so high. And I was stupid enough to, t to even take this place, but at the time it looked very convenient to everything, but it's not working out as well as we thought. But um, anyway, I'll let you guys go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Good morning again. I just got home from my walk, um, sitting in Sully's chair, having my breakfast. I cannot sit on that. Sorry, I didn't mean to spit food at you. Um, I can't sit in that futon. You know the futon bed that I got? I cannot sit in it at all. I just, I just, yeah, I just can't sit in it. It kills my back, kills my back. So anyways, I'm having my breakfast. I know it's early. I don't usually eat till like 9, 30, 10, but for some reason I'm starving this morning. I don't know why, and it's only eight o'clock. So, anyway, I forgot to tell you that I went to see my mom yesterday. She was, I mean, she was good. Health-wise, she's doing really well. She was very, you know, happy. She didn't really know who we were, but she thought I was her sister, which she normally does most of the time anyway. But, but she was pleasant. You know, I didn't get the dagger death looks like I had the last time but she was okay. 
and um, so that's good I'm, I'm glad I went and I'm gonna try and go again on Wednesday but um, anyways last night Sally and I having dinner I get a phone call from no not dinner getting ready to go to bed actually and um, the phone phone rang and it was the nurse at the nursing home saying that she had fallen out of bed she didn't hurt herself her bed is like really really low to the ground like really low it's like step stool like that low but um but she was fine and everything and then I'm thinking later I would say like I don't know how many times she's fallen since she's been there. I'm going to say once or twice a month that she's fallen. But it always seems that she's fallen on days that I went, that I visited her. I don't know. I just find that really weird. Like maybe she thinks that she's home or I'm not really sure what, what, what's going on in her head. But the days that she falls are the days that I visit weird really weird so anyways I'm gonna let you go I'm getting caught up on Big Brother and God what else oh I'll let you know later on I gotta call the the mortgage company I gotta wait till 10 o'clock to call them so I'll clue you in I'll see you later on bye oh hello so I'm sitting here coloring look at trying to keep my mind busy so I talked to the mortgage people doesn't look too good and it's kind of upsetting even though we all know what was going to happen they are claiming that I guess I can't color and talk they are claiming that there was a notice sent out and that we have to be out of the house or they have to be out of the house by September 1st <laughs> It's like two weeks. So, um, I'm just waiting for another call back from HUD people to see um, what they can do. But, uh, because we have no proof that they notified us, they claiming that they notified us July 27th and there is nothing there at all. We don't have anything. Um, so, so um, yeah, so the girls are a wreck, obviously. I, of course you know me, I feel like everything's my fault and I feel like I could have prevented this if I just kept my mom home, took care of her 24 hours a day like I was doing before. I know it was difficult, but at least we wouldn't have lost the home. I, I know it's not my fault. My girls keep telling me it's not my fault, but I still feel like it's my fault. I know, I know it was really hard to take care of my mom. It was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. But I was wondering, I don't know, I'm just thinking, Maybe I, I was wondering, maybe in time it would have gotten better. I don't, I don't know. I know it's going to happen eventually that we were going to lose the house. And I'm upset that I let it happen. And I don't know, I guess... I guess I'm just wishing for more time for them to get some money up, to get their act together, to get out on their own. I know they're adults, they should be able to handle this themselves, and they will handle it themselves. My daughter told me she will talk to them, she told me to stay out of it, but it's very, very difficult and I just worry. Because I am the world's worst wary watt. You know that by now. So, anyway. 
I'll just have to wait. I'm waiting for that other phone call. And uh, I'll just wait and see what happens. I don't know. And then, now today is, my husband has, Sully has an appointment today with the DOT to renew his um, truck driver license something or other. So, they have changed the numbers, I guess, diabetic A1C numbers to qualify for renewal of their DOT card. Seriously, if his numbers are not where they're supposed to be, now his, his blood sugars have been really, have been a lot better with the diet change and everything. His last A1C was lower than it was last year, but I don't think it's going to be as, I don't think it's going to be the number that the DOT wants. So that's eating me. I mean, I can't stand all this worrying here. So whether or not they consider their A1C level as a type 1 diabetic to be a different number than as far as a, as a diabetic, uh, type 2 diabetic, we have to wait and see. Because... If, I don't know how it is, if his, love, if his blood sugars are too low, then he's not going to be able to drive. But then he don't, they don't want his blood, blood sugars up too high. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So, this is why I'm trying to color. To color. To keep my brain occupied. I already went off of my walk. Oh, I went off of my walk and I turned my foot. I turned my ankle. <sighs> really, on my good foot, not my bad foot. So I managed to get home okay. I put ice on it when I got home. It's not really swollen, but I can feel like something, I, you know, I, I can feel I like sprained it. You know what I mean? It's not black or blue, it's not swollen, but I can tell the spot that I hurt, you know. Like, son of a bee. I can't, you know, really. So I was going to go for my bike ride, but you know what? I think I'm just going to stay right here because my luck, I fall off my damn bike. So, I don't know. I'll get back to you later. <sighs> what a day. Not only are we still waiting for them to get an eviction, notice or day they have to leave or whatever you want to call it. My poor daughter Kristen has been sick the last few days. They started her on um, um, metformin because she has PCOS and she's trying to straighten out her system or whatever. And the last time she was on it she got sick so they took her off of it and didn't put it back on. And they just restarted her back on it. Uh, probably about three or four days ago. So she's been sick for the last three days. Like, awful. And really bad abdominal pain. So, we just found out a little while ago she's being admitted into the hospital with pancreatitis. I just feel so bad for her. She's so upset. And, and uh, you know, with everything going on recently with the house and stuff, with and now she's right, well, beginning of inventory with her work. So she's stressed out about that. And everything just seems to be happening all at once. So. <sighs> when it rains, it pours, right? So. All right, well, I just thought I'd let you know what's going on. And uh, I will be back to you later. I'll let you know. See ya.